Hi everyone, it's Lori and welcome to my channel. I hope you are all doing well today. So today is going to be um, a long time coming, but my number three process video for Panda Hall Selected. And I will make sure to leave a link to their website as well as the products that um, I received from them to do a review on. And the one today we're going to be working with are these vintage style keys absolutely love these keys so we're going to be working with some of those today in today's process video but when you go over there make sure to look when you go to panda hall to look for this symbol and the panda hall selected because that's what these products are and in the description box i will also have a um code where you can get a discount so make sure to look in my description box for that and the links to the products that we got along with the keys so again, look for this emblem here, the little box, and make sure it says selected. All right, so what I thought I would do today is I have been working on like some little um, antique and vintage lace and dolly little snippets on a piece of corrugated cardboard. And I have a bunch here that looks like that came off of something. Yeah. That I have already put together. So, what I thought we could do is I thought a key hanging from this rusted paper clip on these would look absolutely adorable. So, that's what we're going to be working on today. I do have some little rings here. Let's see, let me grab my needle nose pliers. So yeah, I thought we would just pick out some keys. There's all different kinds of sizes and styles of keys here, as you can see. So for this one, I think we want possibly a little bit bigger one, but I think that one's maybe too big. Let's see. Maybe something like that. That would be a good size. So I am just going to take... I believe one of these rings here if I can guys that's why I got my tweezers out you guys know I have problems with fingers let's see these yeah I think those just open these are more like um, big ring type thing or small ring type thing I should say see how well this is going to work out with you know miss fumble finger fingers here okay so let's see perhaps I should have tried to figure this out beforehand or maybe put these on there beforehand let's see We may be starting the video over or pausing it so that I can try to get those in there. All right, I'm going to pause you guys. All right, guys, I think I got it figured out. We're just going to have to use these other rings. So there is that little key on that one. You can also put it around here. So maybe we will put the next one around that as opposed to around the whole thing so just gonna get our little ring I'm gonna try to figure out exactly where it opens at my lighting is just not good in here for this I will say that because yeah I do not see where it actually Opens out. Okay, there it is. Of course, I had it covered up with the pliers. Okay, so we will just open that up and put it around this part. And then let's see what key do we want. I think this one will be good. Just put that on there. That is so 
cute. Look at that, guys. Isn't that darling? Oh, I really like that. Okay. So there is number two. So now with this one, we need a slightly bigger key. Maybe that one's too big. Let's see. What color do we want? Oh, that one will be pretty. Yep, let's do that one. Okay. I need to get with my friend Jovi and teach me how to use this thing. I had saw her use it, so I went to Hobby Lobby and got one, and now I don't know how to use it, so. Alright. And then we're going to do this key here. and then we'll bring this back together hopefully my fingers are not wanting to cooperate oh man guys look at how pretty look wow oh these are perfect perfect for this project Alright guys, so we will do, let's see, maybe one more and then we will call this a video. Let's just do this one. So I just have a plate of rusted safety pins over here that I rusted. Um, I think they turned out pretty good. Because the last two times I've tried to rust something, it just did not. Let's see, maybe we will... Let's see, maybe we will what? We will go ahead and put a thing on here. Let's see, which one do we want? That one will be pretty. So let's go ahead and just put a ring on here. There we go. And then we can just close that back up. And then we can just do this first. And then put it on here. Let's see if we can get this through there with it being rusted. There it goes. Awesome. Oh, look. That's cute, too. Oh, look, guys. Just that key gives it just that little something extra. Oh, I love those. All right, guys. Go on over there to Panda Hall Selected and get yourself some of these wonderful keys. Again, all different sizes from teeny tinies to the bigger ones. Um, silver color, gold tone, antique look, brass, all of these. Gold, look at how beautiful that one is. Yep, all these wonderful keys. So go over there to Panda Hall Selected. Oh, I wanted to show you guys something else really quick. So I have these things. I have no idea what you call them. Um, but it has the little uh, clasp thing here that you can open up and attach it to something um yeah so i was thinking wouldn't it be cute to put one of these keys on here so let's go ahead and pick out a key let's get this bigger key here yeah sorry but yeah go over to panda hall selected i'll be talking while i oh i might need that back jovi i need you to sh teach me how to use that thing because really, I don't think I'm using it correctly. Okay. So, we just put our key on there. 
and close that back up and voila you can even put more than one but wouldn't that be pretty hanging down the side of a journal yep all kinds of things you could do with these keys so yeah guys go over to panda hall selected and again i will leave the um links to all the products that uh they sent me as well as their main link to panda hall selected just make sure like i said when you go over there um that you are looking for this logo that actually says panda hall selected not just panda hall and look at how cute these are guys wow super cute um but yeah let's see let me put this paper down because it's good and white here we go look at there oh yeah i think you can see it a lot better how pretty are these but yeah make sure to look at my description box for the um discount code and that will be a code off of your total purchase so there you go guys thank you all so much for joining me today um thank you anna over at panda hole selected for contacting me and asking me to um review some of your products i absolutely love these keys guys i really need to use them more often because i mean you see the difference it went from just a simple paper clip or simple uh safety pin to now having that beautiful vintage style key hanging from them yep it gives it so much more all right guys thank you all so much for joining me today i really do appreciate it again panda hall selected i love you guys and we'll see you next time bye bye